If I give you this Funko Pop, could you tell if it was real or fake? Actually, no, no, give it back, give it back. I'm gonna need it for this video. Because this is my ultimate guide to spotting a fake Funko Pop. And stick around to the end for an awesome bonus. Oh boy, is it a good one. So there is two main areas to check if your Funko Pop is real or fake. And that is of course the box and the Funko Pop itself. So let's take a closer look at the box. First thing we're gonna look at, you gotta look at the Funko Pop logo, the series logo, the fonts, the die cut that goes around the character and the overall quality of the print and the characters themselves. So closer look at the Funko Pop logo, you'll see it's got this dot white fade pattern that goes from the top all the way down to the bottom and then disappears. On the real one, this fully disappears at the bottom. On the fake one, unfortunately, you can still see the dot pattern there as well as the difference in the color quality on the top. The next thing to note, which will be a little bit harder unless you have something side by side, is the animation logo here. This could be, for example, game, Marvel, whatever it's going to be. If you have a quick look, you'll notice a slight difference here in the font itself. Now, on the real one, it's a lot more bolder than it is on the fake one. Over to the CV's logo, in this case, it is actually Demon Slayer. You'll see that the one on my left is a lot darker compared to the one on the right, which is nice, bright and crisp. The logo does not look anywhere near as crisp and clear. On the left hand one, you'll notice around, like say for the R and the N, that you don't see this nice little clear white line that goes around it to separate it from the background. Onto the number, there is a very slight change here, and that is inside of the eights and the sixes. You'll notice the difference in the spacing. It is quite slight, but it is one of the ways to find out if it is real or fake. Moving on to the die cut, which goes fully around the character. Similar or not too bad, but you'll see on the real one here, that especially around the bow, it is a little more defined. The cut is a lot smoother. And down the bottom, we don't have this horrible little nick that this does have on the fake version. Taking that over into the image quality, I'm sure you can see there a big difference. The real one, everything is nice, crisp and clean. The shadows and highlights really stand out. On the fake one, the highlights and shadows kind of start blending in. The colour tone isn't quite there. If you see on Nesco's dress there as well, you can see all the intricate details on the right. On the left, it starts to blur all into itself. And finally, if we go down to the name, one of the main sections you'll see here, different in the font, not just in the insides, like say the D's and the A's, you'll see it straight away in the U's. Though the fake one does have a very similar font, it isn't quite exact to the Funko font that's used. And that's one way to definitely check and make sure yours is real. Going down to the colour, the colour of the vinyl section there as well is different on both sides. This is because the darkened version of the fake one compared to the nice bright version of the real one. Fonts also go down into the warning signs all the way across. So just keep an eye out for them slight little alterations. Get another Funko Pop you might already have, compare them side by side and take a closer look. Going on to the side, we have the similar kind of issue straight away. Check the same issues on the Funko Pop logo as well as the text. Again, you see straight away there on the U's and the O's. Makes it a lot easier at the side of the box because the font is a lot bigger. All the way down to the 868 again. The little differences inside the 8 and how nice the highlights and shadows are on the real one compared to the fake one. On to the back. This does make it a whole lot easier to see if yours is real or fake because there's a lot more going on here. Similar things to the rest of the sides. The logo as well as the series logo. You'll see it clearer on here now. Them little white lines that go around the Demon Slayer logo. Completely lost on here. It blurs in a little bit too much. And when talking about the highlights and the shadows of the characters, if you look at Tanjiro's little thing here. So if we go down to Tanjiro here, you can see all the nice highlights and shadows, all nice and crisp and clear. The same on Nezuko, on Zenitsu's top, as well as Inosuke. You can see all the nice shadows in there on his face. On the fake one, of course, all these are fully lost. You can just about see Zenitsu's triangles on his top, but nowhere near as nice and clear and crisp as it is on this side. Again, on the bottom, this little line here, similar thing to everywhere else. The fonts are slightly different and the color quality is also a bit different. You can see the main color quality here on the top where this is like a nice golden sandy kind of color to this murky muddy sandy color on the other side. Look at the characters as close as you can. Make sure you can see all these tiny little highlights, shades, shadows, and everything on them. If they're not there, as per on the fake one here, then more than likely yours is fake. Another way to tell as well, again, is on the side with the big version of Nezuko there herself. 
Same issue, look at the logo, look at the animation, look at the boldness of the font. You look at the highlights, the shadows, the quality, you see a big difference in color as well as back down to the number as well. Not much changes as well when going to the top. Same three things to look at, the pop logo, the animation section, and the quality of the character print itself. Some of the Funko Pops now also do get the ones with the blue Funko Pop logo, but don't worry if yours doesn't have that. Some do, some don't. It's one of the new features that are coming into it, which I'll also show you. One area that the fake Funko Pops have not catered for is the brand new section of the bottom of the box itself. Funko has added in this nice little scan here to track more through the Funko Pop app, changed the logo to blue color, added in all these nice recycling and bits and bobs to it. The code now is on the bottom rather than in the middle here. They've also taken away the Facebook logo and Twitter logo and all that from here instead. So as you see in the bottom here, massive different. All the new Funko Pops now do actually have this bottom bit to it. I have this on my new My Hero Academia Pops as well. It's a nice way to double check that it is actually real or fake. I would thought that at least the fake ones would have had something similar to it, but they haven't even bothered with it. One more thing to mention about the box as well is on the inside. They're on the inside itself. Just the difference in the quality of the cardboard itself. And it seems like a small factor, but all the fake Funko Pops I've had, have had this horrible dirty more color compared to the nice bright white on that one. So now if we move on to the Funko Pop itself, something you'll probably say straight away is the color quality. The real one on my right here, is nice, vivid and bold. You'll see the green in the bamboo in Nezuko's mouth compared to the green bamboo in the fake one, as well as the skin tone is a lot more muted and dulled out on the fake one compared to the nice bright colors on the real one. You'll also see there that the difference in size, it's only about a centimeter or so, but the real one is actually bigger than the fake one. This also brings me to the bases, the real base and the fake base as well as the thickness of the plastic, <laughs> as well as the thickness of the plastic itself. So going from that and taking a closer view, you'll also notice not only just the color quality, but actually the paint job itself on the fake one, the fingernails are just all over the place, as well as on her kimono, there's random white splotches, there's bits completely missing out the way in comparison to the real one where the nails are a lot more accurate. The paint job on the kimono is a lot better, the colors are a lot brighter. Even taking that round to the back, you'll be see here on the 360 as well, the difference in the color quality of even just the black, the real one has a slight shine to it and the fake one is quite dulled out. The red ends on her hair are a lot more dulled out compared to the real one. And then finally on the Funko Pop itself, the very bottom. You'll see a couple of different things here. You have the standard copyright logo on each foot, more or less exactly the same, as well as the Funko Pop little stamp on either side. Both the real and the fake ones always have this. But the thing that the fake ones don't have is this printer coat here. Sometimes it's on the bottom of the foot, sometimes it's actually under the head. This code correlates to that code that's on the bottom of the box. Sometimes they're not exactly the same. It all depends when the box was manufactured compared to when the Funko Pop itself was manufactured. Most time these will be exactly the same codes, but they can vary very slightly. I'll put up on screen a full list of how these, this code actually works, because this actually does show the date it was actually made. And I'll break that down on an image on screen here for you. And lastly, one little thing to note when having a closer look, if I try to tilt them in that same standing position, you'll notice this fake one here, the position of her head as well as her hand and that just very so slightly off. She's not leaning as much as she should do. So little tensions to deal with it like that, even though it looks like the correct pose, it is very slightly out, which makes all the difference to be able to detect if it is real or fake. If you're still a little unsure, then why not hit me up on Twitter or Instagram with some images of your Funko Pop. I'll gladly take a look at them and let you know if they're real or fake, just to give you that extra little bit of clarification. But now, onto the bonus content, the bit that I promised you at the very beginning of the video. And in order to do that, I have to go back and have a quick look at the beginning of the video. If I give you this Funko Pop, could you tell if it was real or fake? Because this, did you see it? Did you see what I did? I done the old switcheroo on you. I showed you this real one and bought back the fake one. If you managed to spot it, go on, have yourself a cookie. Have lots of cookies. But if you didn't, at least now you know how to tell if your Funko Pop is real or fake. So in order that you don't get scammed, especially if you're working on a budget, 
And if you're working on a budget, this video right here will really help. My name's been Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.